Hello again. After reviewing the terms of vacuum tubes, transistors, and integrated circuits in the previous video, in this video, we will look at these terms in detail. Let's begin with the vacuum tube. A vacuum tube is a glass tube that controls the flow of electrical current between electrodes. It also consists of a glass bulb and wire where the wire is used to carry data in the form of electronic signal. It was used in first-generation computers for calculation and storage and behaves like an amplifier and switch, where the amplifier increases lower energy into a higher energy. This energy is increased until the loudness or amplitude of the sound or speech heard is the same as transmitted. The switch is a component used to break an electrical circuit and redirects it from one conductor to another. Vacuum tubes were also used in televisions, radio sets, telephone systems, and many more in 1990s. Moving towards the transistor, which is a semiconductor device that is used as a switch or amplifier. Basically, it has three connectors or terminals, the collector, the emitter, and the base. The flow of charges goes through the collector and carried out of the emitter depending upon the charge flowing to the base. In this manner, it is possible for the base to switch on or off the flow through the transistors. They were used in second generation computers and were smaller, faster, cheaper, and lighter in weight than the vacuum tube. The impact of transistor can be seen in a phone call. The last topic of this video is integrated circuit. The IC is considered as the brain of the circuit. An integrated circuit is extremely small in size, but it can work as fast as thousands of transistors. It is a collection of resistors, transistors, and capacitors, all connected together into a small chip to attain common objective. They were used in third-generation computer. They use less electricity and are less expensive and easily replaceable. You can see on the screen how integrated circuit can be inserted or removed on the motherboard. Thank you and see you in the next section.